Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Physics. This video is about the motor effect, how we can predict the force on a wire in a magnetic field. Hopefully you remember that around all magnets we have a magnetic field and we can show that magnetic field by drawing magnetic flux lines which always go from a north pole to a south pole. Those are the white lines on this diagram. Now imagine we have a wire going through that magnetic field. At GCSE the wire is always going to be perpendicular to the flux lines and 90 degrees to them. And if we put a current through that wire, flowing from positive to negative, you can see the direction as the arrow on this wire, then that wire is going to experience force. And that means that the, for the wire is going to move. Now this effect is really important. We use it in loads and loads of different devices. It's called the motor effect. But how did I know that the wire was going to move upwards? Why not down or to the right? Well, to work out and predict the direction, we use something called Fleming's left-hand rule. Fleming's left-hand rule uses, surprise, surprise, your left hand. What you need to do is make this shape with your left hand. Point your index finger forward, stick your second finger across, and point your thumb upwards. And each of your fingers represents a different thing. So the, the first finger, your index finger, represents the magnetic field going from north to south. The second finger represents the direction of the current going from positive to negative, and your thumb is going to point in the direction of movement, the direction that the wire is going to experience a force. Now in any question you are given, you're always going to know two of these three things. So all you have to do is line up the two things that you know with your hand and see which direction the other finger or thumb is pointing. Now normally we get given the field and we get given the current and we have to predict the direction of the force, the direction of the movement. So let's see this in action. Here we've got the setup we had before. So we have our field lines going from left to right, and we have our current coming out of the page. So if I pop my hand in the right place and line up my fingers with the field lines and with the current, then my thumb points upwards. And lo and behold, it predicts what we saw earlier. The wire is going to move vertically up. But what about a different situation? Let's try this one. Why don't you pause the video and we'll see if you can work this out. Okay, so here's my left hand again. I'm going to point my first finger along the field lines, going from left to right. My second finger is now pointing down, so I've rotated my hand around, uh, following the direction of the current. And that means my thumb is now pointing out of the screen towards us. So the wire is going to experience a force out of the screen, and it's going to move towards us. If you had this in an exam, you would literally write out of the paper or out of the page. A couple of common mistakes people make with this. Number one, it's called Fleming's left hand rule. It doesn't work with your right hand. So just make sure you are using the correct hand. Secondly, you can move the paper around on your desk. You don't have to keep the paper still. Otherwise you end up dislocating wrists, pulling shoulders out of joint. It's really not worth it. Just think about rotating the paper a little bit. It does make your life a lot easier. So we've got to think about another way of representing this. 3D diagrams are all well and good, but sometimes they will show the direction of the current in a slightly different way. Imagine this situation here. We've got a dartboard, we're going to throw a dart at it. Now imagine you were unfortunate enough to be standing uh, with the dart coming towards you. What you'd see as it came your way is predominantly that, the point of the dart and the little grip around it. So that represents something coming towards you. And if the dart was going away from you, you'd see the flights in that sort of crosshair pattern. So these two symbols are sometimes used in diagrams to represent a wire with a current. And this tells us whether the current is going into the page or out of the page. On the left hand side, that current's coming out of the page towards us. On the right hand side, the crosshair means that the current's going into the page away from us. So let's just see what this looks like in action. There we have it. So just again, use your left hand rule, see if you can work out which direction it's going to move. So your second finger should be pointing out of the page towards you. Your first finger should be pointing down, going with the field lines north to south. And that means, of course, that the wire is going to move to the right. Well done if you've got that correct. So to summarize, a wire that's carrying a current would experience a force if it moves through a magnetic field. And it's worth knowing that at GCSE, the wire and the magnetic field are always going to be at right angles to each other. And the direction of that force could be predicted using Fleming's left hand rule. Thanks for watching this 5 Minute Physics video. Please subscribe or check out our other videos teaching GCSE physics in simple 5 minute lessons. Bye for now.